All right, guys, hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be talking about how to create fade transitions in After Effects using presets. Now, some of you guys out there know how to do fades with keyframes, but this is another way that is really helpful if you don't want to work with keyframes. And it's a lot quicker, I believe. So we have this footage here and it's of a shot of a drone on the bottom. And then we have the crosswalk on the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our animation presets folder. It's right here, the first one. Then we're going to go down to behaviors. And then we're going to find this fade in over layer below. And I'm going to drag this on my top clip, which is my second clip. And notice that an effect has been added. And here we have things like source opacity, color, and even the blending mode. So that's something that you can play around with. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just play this through so you see what happens. Notice how it is transitioning. And the way that the transition here is happening is that the transition starts from the end point of my top layer, and then it goes all the way to the end of my bottom layer. Now, if I wanted this transition to be shorter, I would just shorten this up. And then if I go over here and press B to change my endpoint and I play it back, notice that now the transition is a lot shorter. Now, if we change the endpoint of our actual layer by dragging it in like this, and then we did something like that, and then we added this overlap and I played it back, Notice that it still works the same from the end point of your new layer to the out point of your old layer. So that's how the fade in over layer below works. All right, so we just saw how we could do a fade in over the layer below, but how can we be more precise with our fade ends? Say we had like a very specific or timely animation and we needed the fade in to come in perfectly. How could we do this? Well, we could use the preset called the fade in plus out frames. So what I'm going to do is like I did before is I'm going to drag it over to my clip and notice that a preset has been added and I have up here this fade end duration. And this is basically going to allow my fades to come in at a certain amount of frames. Here I have it set to 15. I'm going to put it to 30. And then if you notice, if I go over to the two second mark and play it back, Notice that it took 30 frames to finish the transition. So if I scrub through this, it's done here. All right, so now we're going to look at another way to be very precise with your transitions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first get rid of these effects up here. So press Control Shift E or Command Shift E if you're on a Mac. You could also go up to effects and then select remove all. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here and we will select fade in plus out milliseconds. Notice that we now have a new effect that has appeared and this is in milliseconds. So 500 milliseconds is half of a second and 1000 milliseconds is one second. So I want this to be three seconds precise. So I will put this at 3000. And if I play it back now, my transition is three seconds. So that's how you can work with the fade in out with the milliseconds. All right, guys. So lastly, we're going to look at the fade out over the layer below. And this one works as like the opposite to the fade in over the layer below. So to show you guys this, you just drag it in on your top layer and notice that my layer going out is on the top now. And if I play it back, notice that it's going to fade out from the top. From my end point in my new layer to the out point of my top layer. So that's how the fade out over the layer below works. So I hope that you learned something here about how to work with fade in and out transitions. And I hope that you will give it a try. Until next time.